Hello, my name is Adonis and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing an X return spread for all of my Aries out there for the month of June. So, let's get after it. Okay. <clears throat> sun, rising Venus and Jupiter. Sun, Moon, Rising Venus and Jupiter. Sun, Moon, Rising Venus and Jupiter. Sun, Moon, Rising Venus and Jupiter. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards that I need to see. What kind of love or energy on my Aries currently dealing with? What kind of love or energy are my Aries currently dealing with? Show me cards I need to see. Okay, that feels outstanding. Okay, that feels good. Okay, ooh. So, you're currently dealing with a water sign individual. A water sign individual, okay? Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio energy. Um, it's currently uh, in your orbit, if you will, okay? Uh, this person, um, this water sign individual um, is very confident. I'm getting the sense that this person is a very confident individual here. Um, this person is also looking for an equal give and take, looking for a sense of moderation here. So they're looking for an equal exchange of ideas and emotions here. And they're looking to have like a level playing field. So this is someone um, that's potentially looking for something. Um, so I'm getting a sense of a little bit exciting, a little bit fun, um, but more or less like a sense of moderation here. So this is a person that's pretty equally balanced here too and that's how you'll recognize this person this person seems to be an individual that's kind of uh, that is a very balanced individual here we also have a fire sign individual here king of wands this is a little bit of an older individual here uh leo aries or sagittarius energy here um this person has a tendency to look at look at the big picture okay so this is a person that looks at the macro Okay, the bigger picture, not so much the micro, but the macro. All right. Um, now I do have a sense, like I said, this person is a little bit older. Okay, um, and they're a planner. This is definitely, definitely a planner here. All right, but I do sense here that there is some sense, a little bit of apprehension. There's a little bit of, they're a little bit apprehensive here. They're kind of, they're not so. I'm not going to say. I'm not going to say this individual is, is, is standoffish. But this person is definitely cautious. Okay, this is definitely a very, definitely a cautious individual here. Um, they're very, very, they're very, very cautious because there is a sense that um, how they feel about you is not necessarily how you feel about them. So they're they're very apprehensive. Now, with that said, though, this we, we have this you know with the with the eight of wands. So this person is sending a has been sending an awful lot of messages towards you. And in realms of communication, I'm talking about across all social media devices, if you will. We're talking about, um, you know, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. So this person is 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 really trying to get in communication with you a lot, an awful lot. I, this person probably even, even probably even is, is is texting you and, and possibly even calling you uh, a great deal too. Okay. Um, now I do get the sense here. Um, that the reason why this person is a little bit apprehensive because um, we got the five of cups here. So there's this, there's an energy here, this 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 feeling of remorse. So this person is is is, is dealing with memories of a past relationship that kind of fell apart here. Um, I'm not going to say this is a rebound situation, but it does, but it definitely does have some of the hallmarks of a potential rebound situation okay um so that's that's something to be a little bit wary of however this person is using everything within their power to manifest their own reality okay so they're aware of the mistakes that they made in the past they're not trying to make these same mistakes again with you all right and like i said they're trying to really trying to will this into into reality here and finally here we have a younger earth sign individual here okay a capricorn taurus or a virgo energy here all right, this person is being very careful with how they how they communicate with you. So this person's, um, you know, this person most likely is pretty articulate. Um, again, like I said, this person is a little bit younger, um, but they're very articulate and they're very, they're very 
careful with their word usage as well. All right, they're very very careful with their word usage. Okay, so right there, so that's that's uh, three potentials that you are currently have in your immediate orbit that you may or may not be aware of. All right, so with that being said, let's see exactly what type of energies <clears throat> is your ex dealing with. Now, this is this could be an ex, someone that you just broke up with, or it could be someone from a distant past. Okay, it doesn't necessarily have to be. The person you just recently broke up with. It could be an ex, a former ex, a two exes or three exes ago. Something like that. All right, so here we go. What kind of energy, <clears throat> what kind of energies are my Aries exes currently dealing with? What kind of energies are my Aries exes currently dealing with here? One more shot. So your ex is currently dealing with, we have here, Page of Pentacles. So someone is being very careful with how they communicate with your ex, okay? Being very careful with how they communicate. Um, picking their words very, very carefully. The reason they're doing this is because things have come to a standstill here with the hangman. Things, um, things that were progressing um Things that were moving along at a steady pace, all of a sudden things have just like come to a screeching halt here. Okay? Now there was an opportunity, like a, a new hope, a new opportunity here. So there was like a rebirth of energy and potential here. This this that's where things were kind of moving here with this. This person definitely had a sense of tradition on the on them on their mind as well. So definitely the sense of tradition. Okay? Long-term commitment, tradition. Um, there's also this aspect here of the Empress energy here, fertility, abundance. So it looks like this person was really entertaining having a child here. They were really they were entertaining having a child here. Um, again, this is an air. This is a um, Earth sign individual we're talking about. A younger Earth sign individual with your ex here, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo energy here. Um, so there was. I'm getting the sense here that was a child. The talk of a child, something traditional, long-term, possible marriage commitment. There was a child having a child that was discussed. Um, but at that, but as things began to kind of slow down a little bit, we got the Seven of Pentacles here. So there was this sense, a lot of talking was done here, but there was not a whole lot of movement in that direction. So now this individual is just kind of waiting to see what kind of things ripen from this situation here. Now they are, they were definitely looking to have an equal give and take here. Be very charitable with their time, with their energy, with their money. Okay. Um, however, they they were they believe that their their love that they were giving, okay, their couple love they were giving, has been rejected. At least that's the feeling here. Okay. <clears throat> so that's what is <clears throat> currently going on in your excess neck of the woods. So that said, let's see what are the chances of you and your ex coming back together again even if it is just in a, a friendly speaking type of basis let's see what the chances are what are the chances of you and your ex getting back together what are the chances of you and your ex getting back together or at least be in a in a moderate speaking engagement what are the chances of you and your ex coming back together here? okay Well, we got to recognize victory here. So it does mean at some point um, there will be a happy, um, a happy unification, at least in the realm of communication. So there's definitely going to be some type of opening of communication that's going to take place here. It's going to be also be an aspect of truth that's going to be revealed here. Okay, so things are going to be. Um, Things are going to be very cordial, and there's going to be some truth that's spoken here. 
there's going to be some truth that's spoken here, okay? And that's going to, that's that's what's going to lead to this victory, if you will. Also, the, there's going to be talk of long-term plans. Uh, maybe there'll be some reminiscing about, um, um, you know, former plans that you guys had together. There's going to be some exploration of maybe what plans do they have, what plan you're going to discuss. There's going to be some communication about their plans, long-term plans, your long-term plans. So there's definitely going to be that 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 air, if you will, is definitely going to surround this um, this unification here. So it does appear that the lines of communication will open, um, and there's going to be a peaceful resolution here. Not necessarily saying you guys are going to get back together per se, but there's definitely there's definitely a chance here that there's going to be a reunification of ideas here, at least. So at least kind of bringing things down to a more calm, reasonable perspective here. So things are going to end on a positive note, not on a negative note. So with that said, let's see what additional information the Spirit wants to give before I shut this thing down. What additional information the Spirit wants to give before I shut this thing down? Okay. So, within the next few weeks, there is going to be some sort of communication, okay? Um, also, Spirit saying, be assertive. Be assertive in your position. Um, you know, don't be afraid. Don't hold back. Be assertive. Assert yourself, okay? Um, don't be afraid to have communication. Um, definitely forgive, okay? Definitely forgive. Also, Spirit saying, Reconsider. Now, this could be reconsidering a lot of things. This this could this could mean reconsider um, any kind of any kind of bad um, bad connections that you guys have had from the past. You may want to reconsider, you know, and, and kind of let bygones be bygones. Um, if there is still some type of connection that's there, you may want to reconsider, maybe exploring those other options. So. You know, this reconsider can, can mean um, a lot of things across a lot across the spectrum here. But what I'm really feeling here is that this is a time, this is going to be a time, this this communication that's going to take place is going to be a time of healing, if you will. It's going to be a time of healing. Um, and it's not going to be, it's not going to be a meeting of animosity there. So that's, things are definitely, they say like definitely going to end on a good note. So with that being said... I'm going to shut this thing down now. Hey, listen, thank you guys so much for hanging in there. I had some personal family situations I had to deal with. Um, if I owe you a reading, no worries. You'll have it no later than tomorrow. Promise, 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 promise. Some of you will be getting them today. And anyone's left over, you'll be getting them tomorrow. Promise. Okay, so with that being said, this is a general love reading. may not resonate with everyone, but if it does resonate with you and you want to know a little bit more, I'll leave the link below. Make sure you get yourself a personal reading. If you haven't already, please like, please share, and please, please, please subscribe. All right? I love you guys. My name is Adonis, and I will absolutely see you next time. Bye-bye.